Well, hello, ladies and gents. Happy today. I hope you're all doing well. So uh, what we're going to be doing today is discussing cellular respiration, uh, the process of converting food into molecules that can run the body. And to help with that, uh, I brought in something for a little demonstration, some pretzel sticks. Uh, my kids like pretzel sticks. Now, pretzel sticks are really functional in a lot of ways. You can use them as early, cheap, last minute Halloween costume, or you can even consume them for energy to help power the body. So how is eating a pretzel able to uh, be fuel for your body? Well, let's jump in and talk right about that. Now, to make you, you're made of mostly carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, right? And some other atoms that are combined. And this is a non-spontaneous process. You don't just automatically combine these atoms in such a way to create an organism like you. Uh, and to do this, you're going to have to form specific molecules, and that's going to require some energy, okay? So the process of cellular respiration takes energy from the foods we consume and converts them into this little energy currency, ATP. Uh, ATP is the energy molecule that all life uses to power chemical processes. So you need energy and materials to make you, you. And ATP is the molecule that provides the energy for all these chemical reactions. And so how do we get the energy from ATP? We break down our foods and use that to power the production of ATP. All right. So um, key molecules in this process include NADH and FADH2. Uh, NADH, it's like nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. Uh, it's this molecule, it's basically like a modified adenine. I mean, think of how you take these simple molecules like nucleic acids, like uh, uh, an adenine nucleotide, and you can rearrange it in different ways to make ATP, or you tack on some other molecules to it and you make NADH. But basically what happens is the food we consume gets oxidized. Now think back to your chemistry days. Oxidation is a loss of electrons, right? So people remember this different ways, like Leo goes Ger, losing electrons is oxidation, gaining electrons is reduction. I remember oil rig, oxidation is a loss, uh, reduction is a gain in uh, electrons. But anyway, your food becomes oxidized. That means they lose electrons. And then ultimately in this process, oxygen, that molecule we breathe in, it's going to be reduced. It's going to gain those electrons, all right? And an important shuttle in this process is NADH and its sort of relative molecule, FADH2. I think of them as electron and then associated proton carriers. Uh, they're sort of like, um, if you think of, you know, a hot rock, you might use a pair of tongs or a pan to carry a hot rock. I don't, I don't know the circumstance in which you carry a hot rock, but just imagine, you know, you've got this hot rock you need to carry. Uh, that could be like the protons and electrons. And then you have a vessel in which you carry it. Well, NADH and FADH2 are the vessels or the, the you know, Uber drivers that shuttle these electrons and their associated protons uh, around the body. So when we eat, the electrons and protons from our food get stripped away and they are shuttled by NADH and FADH2 to the reaction centers where chemical reactions can occur. All right, so this is another, uh, or this is sort of a look at uh, NADH. Uh, there you can see it's sort of a modified adenine with this nicotinamide uh, molecule added to it. Uh, and again, what it can do is strip away or take electrons and then protons that are stripped away from food and then deposit them somewhere else uh, in the body. All right, so this process of cellular respiration it's going to occur in three sets of chemical reactions, glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, which is also sometimes called the citric acid cycle. Uh, I think a lot of books are moving from Krebs to uh, citric acid. Nothing against Hans Krebs, but uh, I think a lot of books are referring to uh, the cycle as a citric acid cycle. And then finally, the process of oxidative phosphorylation. You can look at how the name sort of ties in with that. Uh, those electrons that have been passed along are going to end up phosphorylating ADP to make ATP. So um, that's the main idea. You have stripped away protons and electrons from your food. 
And then through these three processes, you're ultimately going to be in, end up making a bunch of ATP. So this is going to be end up or end up being made to use energy to power our bodies. All right. Uh, thanks for sticking with this introductory uh, segment. We'll get into the nuts and bolts of uh, these three um, sets of reactions in just a moment.